and the engine down to, let's go to 2000 RPM. And I'm gonna start just driving it through the table here. Um, we're gonna find that once I exceed the map threshold and the TPS threshold for the RPM we're at, it's gonna go and kick it out of um, a closed loop into open loop. And what we're gonna notice here is the fuel status right now showing a two, that means that we're in closed loop. We're gonna see that the fuel status is gonna be changing. I believe it's a four if I remember correct. That's gonna be meaning we're in open loop. We're also gonna be noticing here that our trims, our short and long term trim reporter right here, they're gonna be zero. They're gonna go right to zero because we're in open loop. So we're gonna be transitioning through the table, trying to keep it into closed loop and just using my short term trim, making the changes. Now, usually when I make my changes, I'll be highlighting sections of the table here using control J to add large chunks of percentage of, 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 of adder or subtractor. So if I saw that I was adding 28%, I would jump in here and I would probably pop in maybe 20% right off the bat and, and try it. Um, and then when I wanna make fine changes, I'll grab areas of the table, usually across a row, and I'll use control D to decrease a range or control I to increase. That's gonna be the other keystrokes that I work with. So we're in live tuning mode and we're able to make these changes real time. That's gonna be the other key factor. We don't have to hard flash them. Let me go here, put it into gear. Let's bring it up to 2000. Let's try it. I'm just gonna be sweeping through the 2000 RPM and then I'll move up to 2000 and then I'll go to 3000 and then maybe 5000 and just build out the table a little bit, paying attention to my short terms. I wanna get my short and long-term trim as close to zero as possible. Let's try this.